Hello everybody, um, this is going to be my first tutorial that I'm making. Um, it's just going to be a basic sketch and line art tutorial. Um, Alright, so let's get started. Um, I begin by starting a new canvas. Um, it's usually pretty big. Um, I go by inches with 300 ppi. This is, I'm going over the line stabilizer right now. Um, it's a really cool feature in our Paint Tool SAI. Um, basically it makes it so that your lines aren't going to be all like wobbly if you have shaky hands or whatever like I do. <coughs> so it's really helpful. It's really great for translating, but I don't think it's working right now when I'm trying to demonstrate it, but that's okay. Um, it does that sometimes. Anyway, it's really helpful and the higher you have it and the more stabilization you're going to have. So I start out by just kind of sketching a basic uh, outline of what I want to be going on. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just messing around. Um, so I start with like the head and other lines, and really basic stuff, and I'm like, I want there to be like boobs, like huge boobs in the picture, so it's a little complicated to get. Um, so I start by doing that, and I think I like took a break or something and left and then came back and sketched more and forgot to start recording. So anyway, <laughs> there's that. Um, it's a good ways in, uh, so that'll save time anyway. Um, so I'm just going over again, like the basics. Um, I'll use like a weird color to do the sketchings and on different layers. So I do more detail. I do like a basic sketch on the bottom and then I do more detail in a different color on a layer over that. And then once I'm done sketching out all of the basics, uh, basic details and everything, I will make another layer over that where I will start my line art, which takes like a century. So yeah, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just um, doing the, you know, basic sketches. <coughs> I think I like I spent like a century trying to get that head part right. Anyway, um, so what you're going to want to do is flip the canvas often <laughs> so that you'll know, um, it'll, it'll kind of refresh your view and you'll be able to tell if you're messing anything up. Alright, here we go. Started a new layer and I'm doing the line art. I like to start with the eyes because that's fun, but it's sometimes difficult to get the pupil in the right place. So yeah, I end up fighting with it for like a good 20 minutes or so, um, but that's all right. Um, there's going to be a lot of revisions that happen here. And uh, first, I'm doing the line art for just like the skin and the clothes and everything like that. And then on a layer above that, I do the line art for the hair so that uh, I can just do the hair and the lines will look good. And then I can just erase whatever doesn't need to be there underneath of it and then I'll merge the layers down. Um, so doing that circle was like the biggest pain ever because I don't know, drawing circles is like really hard so. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> and this is sped up by I think two or four. I don't know. I It was kind of a long video but yeah. Alright, so fighting with the visor. It's kind of a complicated situation. And now I'm watching it and I'm realizing that it should be tilted a little bit more, but I think I fixed that later. So I'm just going through trying to make everything looking really um, attractive. Where there's more light going to be heating, I make the lines a bit thinner. And where I think that there's going to be more shadow, I make the lines a bit thicker or darker. Um, oh yeah, I'm also using a really cool brush. It's my sketch brush. Sketch brush. It has a pretty low density and it tapers at the end, so it um, it looks really organic, kind of like a pencil, and that's why I like it a lot. Um, if you guys have any questions about the brush settings that I'm using, I can go ahead and just send them to you. I have some pretty cool uh, settings. All right, here I am flipping it the opposite direction, and I realize, oh god, that head thing is so crooked. So. I am just adjusting it with the transform tool, pretty basic stuff. And I can't get it quite right because I'm like super picky, so I think I got it right now. Yeah. And uh, I also had like a few problems with like the, 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 you know, the outfit and the armor and stuff because I was kind of drawing from memory at first and then I was like, well, I need to look up some references maybe, so I'm doing that now. Um, oh, in case you were wondering, this is Cosmos from 
Xenosaga 3 in her favorite outfit of mine. She's a robot. She's pretty cool. If you haven't played Xenosaga, you should probably play it, or at least watch it. It's basically the same thing as playing it and watching it, because it's all cutscenes, turn-based RPG, so... <laughs> Alright, after I'm done with this line art tutorial, um, I'm going to move on to uh, showing you guys how to properly map out the values, which isn't really necessary, but I really like doing it so that everything just turns out right, um, and it's really important for the values to look right. So, um, and then I color after that, and then I can do another tutorial as well um, showing how to color without the values, which is pretty fun, and you can get some really neat effects that way, but uh, sometimes your values will turn out looking kind of stupid, but the colors can look really nice like that, so. Alright, I think here I'm fighting like forever with this, and right now I think I have my stabilizer at like 9. I usually keep it at 9, which is just a regular, like minimal stabilization, but um, sometimes when I'm doing like longer lines, like the hair, I will bump it all the way up to about S4 which will uh, just completely lag out the lines, <laughs> which is really useful if you're making long lines and it looks really uh, looks really clean that way. But, um, but it's not very good if you're just sketching, so that's why I keep it lower. Um, and for some reason, I don't know, her arm here, it kind of looks like she's taking a selfie, but uh, that, that wasn't my intention. I don't know, it was just supposed to be like her arm and then it cut off because, yeah, and she has like this weird big... Uh, glove armor type situation going on at the bottom there, so that's what that is. Um, yeah, she has like this weird armor. It was really hard to figure out. I used a reference of like, um, of an action figure that somebody took a picture of. It was a really good figure. I think it was like Figma or something. So, that yeah, was really helpful. And references are like, you know, your secret arsenal. If you're an artist and you don't use references, then like, you know, it's not very helpful. There's a reason that references exist. I use references for literally everything, for poses, for outfits, for shading and lighting. Um, that's honestly, I think it's the best way to learn how to do it on your own as well. So, use references. They're everywhere on the internet. There's stock photographers, like really great ones. And I just use everything that I can in my arsenal, basically. Um, I also use textures, too. Like, you can just go online and Google, like, uh, cotton texture and find one that you think would look good. And you put it in your piece and it gives your outfit nice texture and extra detail. And, you know, sometimes it's completely unnecessary, but uh, I like doing it because it adds a little bit of, you know, it makes it look like I'm a wizard or something. When <laughs> it really just took me, like, five minutes in Google to do. Yeah. Wow, this is taking like forever to do this line art, and this is sped up quite a bit, so um, sorry if it's kind of boring. <laughs> you can just skip forward, I'm not really going to be talking about anything for a while, so... Oh yeah, I had a bit of trouble um, lining the uh, the the armor on the boobs, because the boob armor is like really weird. She's got like the under boob cleavage, which I say is the cleavage of the future, apparently. So <clears throat> her outfit's kind of really weird. I don't know why I decided to use this outfit. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> I could have just made it something like really fucking simple and boring and, and impressive, but that's that's not how I roll. <clears throat> oh yeah, like for that big long line there, I probably should have bumped my stabilizer up to S4, and I would have just been able to do it in one swipe, but I mean, it's still at 9 for some reason, I don't know, so, and that, that middle thing, the armor in between her boobs is like so wrong, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that, because I actually went and I watched some Xenosaga cutscenes for reference, and I was like, oh, that's so wrong, so, <laughs> yeah. And then I kind of, I kind of hate like this thing that I'm doing over here on the right. It's the same thing that she's got going on on the left with the weird armor things underneath, except it's curving around and like, I don't know if I like it, but it's supposed to be there. So I was thinking about getting rid of it, but then it goes against everything I believe in. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is 
All right, and now I'm going to do the hair. So for the hair, I'm making a new layer above my line art layer. I believe I'm naming it Hair Lines. I bumped my stabilizer all the way up to S4, and I am just trying to make this hair look nice and clean and hair-like. And That takes a really long time, but I really like drawing hair, but it is so hard and tedious. <laughs> And it's really hard to keep track of where all the strands go, but I mean, like, it's fun. Um, it takes a really long time, but you know, I think it's totally worth it. Um, yeah, so the hair is a little difficult. Um, also, when doing the line art, I try and make sure to keep in mind to have all of the lines, like, connected and closed in, because when I do the coloring and the values and everything, I use that wonderful magic selection tool, and, uh, your lines have to be like completely closed in or else you're not going to select the part that you want if you've ever used the magic select tool because I'm really lazy and I don't want to do that manually so I just make sure that all my lines are okay so you see there I just drew all of those long lines like over the top on their own layer and then I'm just erasing where they're not supposed to be and then I'm erasing on the underneath layer underneath the hair so that it looks like the hair is on top of you know whatever I already drew that way everything makes sense and I don't have to fight with any weird lines I can just erase it really quick so and then I merge the hair down onto the other layer and now the cleanup begins so the cleanup for the line art takes a really long time <laughs> I pretty much just go over the whole thing and just redo it all over again and I'm using um, again I'm using my sketch brush uh, with a really small, I'm making it really small, and every now and then I'll be all, like turning up the density. Um, I'm just using black. Um, later on, if you want to, if you don't like your line art being black, um, you can color it really easily if you just click the preserve opacity button right over there on the left above the layers, and then you just like color over the lines, and it'll only color over where the lines are. It's the same situation as like a layer mask, except you're not really doing a mask, you're just changing the colors that are already there on that layer without... Yeah, it's hard to explain. I'll show you later when we start the coloring. <laughs> I'm getting caught off guard now. And I'm realizing that there really should be some eyebrow showing over there on the right, and I don't know if I ever added that in, so maybe I'll add it in later, I don't know. Um, as of this point, I'm actually done with the values, and I just need to color it, so I'll be doing the value tutorial video afterwards. Uh, that should be should be pretty exciting. Yeah, values. If you don't, if you, um, because values is just a basic thing. Like, if you don't know how to do values right, then you're not really going to be able to understand, like, colors and everything. So in order to do the values right, you have to understand lighting and form and all of that wonderful things that they teach you in art class or on the internet or whatever, because I didn't go to art school, I just watched YouTube videos, because <laughs> that's free. All right, um, so now I'm just doing this, yeah, cleanup, There's just, it's just a mess everywhere. I used to just, that first black layer, like how I had it before, would just be a second sketch layer, and then I'd make another layer over that and do like a super clean line art over it, but that takes way too long, and it's just redoing everything that I already did, so I'm just erasing and cleaning up and everything now, and it's not going to be perfect. It'll be good enough once it's all colored and everything you want to be able to tell, so, yeah. I think here I'm just trying to make sure that all of my lines are closed in. Um, just around the outside though. I don't really worry about like the lines on the inside. I just need to make sure that I can select the outside part of the thing where the character isn't at. So the background. I can just select the background with my magic select and not have it leak into the character at all. So all of the all the lines on the outside are just going to be completely closed off. See, that's what I'm doing now. I'm testing to see if my line art is done by selecting. And see, I have some problems up here and over there. So I'm just filling that in until I no longer have a problem with the selection. And then once I have it so that the selection works, then I will uh, move on to coloring or values, whichever one I'm doing. So, yeah. And for this one, I'm going to show you how to do the values 
and then coloring with the values afterwards and then I will show you how to do the um, coloring with just colors as well so yeah there's the line art and it is done if you guys have any questions you can just go ahead and ask I think this is pretty cool um, I will link this line art in the description and you guys can color it if you feel like being bored so it's a pretty good line art you should be able to select it and even if you even if you want, I can send you the file too.